in Hollywood. And it's Hollywood for a number of reasons. It's for your wonderful film career, but it's also for your preservationist point of view. Because even though your amazing collection, which was the largest private collection in the world, maybe it's now been scattered, you saved it, and it still survives. Styles because if you were there taking the admission for MGM, it would, it would be here and it would probably be the most profitable studio in the universe with you there. To present our next award, there's nothing else you can say that would do justice, Miss Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> my life. 
You know, when I was 16, I went to Warner Brothers, 65 bucks a week. That's where it all started. I've never been in show business. Nobody in my family's in show business. It just happened. I was just very lucky, just a lucky girl. And I made, uh, you know, at Warner's, they didn't want to make, keep me anymore than a kid. So they sent me to MGM, put me in one picture, and I met Carlton Carpenter there when I was 17. And we made a little picture together called Two Weeks with Love. And that was the oh, no applause. No, nobody ever thought you don't remember that was a wonderful applause. But it's very kind of you. You've done that a lot tonight. Um, Carlton and I, we were just kids together and we sang a song. It was just a huge success. Actually, it was a hit. We don't know why, but it was a song you played earlier, and we sang it together. It's a jumpy to the monk. Come up here and sing it with me, dear. Come on, come on.
But I'd like to thank Seneca, which I never heard of until uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, but I would like to, I'd like to thank all those people that they came over today to see if you're mistaken. And I'd like especially to thank uh, Stan and Robert for this incredible award. I would like to thank first Debbie Reynolds. I had a chance for the very first time to tell her how marvelous she was and how terrific an actress she was on screen and off. And it was such a pleasure to work with her. And, and I just, I, I had a chance to tell her how I love you. And you sang that back to me, bless your heart. Thank you, Donald. I'd like to thank, with the, with the, the uh, Cinecom people, I'd like, to, I'd like to thank especially Brian Cooper. And the people I'm staying with who are Ralph Ziegler and Alan Eichler, who you to do what you say Alan Congratulations to everybody. I, I, this is, it's so incredible that this thing, it was, it was for doing off Broadway or off off Broadway or on the road Broadway or whatever. I, I, I don't understand it, but uh, this, is, this is terrific and God love you. If you don't understand it, Mr. Carpenter, let me tell you that Cinecon is for a career achievement. And there are few careers that are more worthy of it than yours, because on film alone, you have given us memories that we have traveled with in our lives. And by doing that, you've made our lives better just because you were in them. So just understand how much you mean to us. On this, on, on this dais, all these wonderful, talented people that have enriched our lives. And Ms. Reynolds, now that you understand a little bit more about Cinecon, we ran 45 films this season. Most of them are restorations. We are trying to preserve the film. And every year, the archives help us show the world that the work matters. And so I'm going out on a limb here, Ms. Reynolds. We would love so much for you to free up your schedule this time next year so we can honor you the same way. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening.